Hi everyone, I'm a Dr. Pen. I, I just feel so happy because my, my best friend Tony come to Peru to visit me. We have the very good friendship for about 20 years and we go as kayaking, we eat together and now he's in Peru! Welcome Tony! Thank you very much Tony. <laughs> oh, it has been a long time. Yeah. That, uh, as you said, the first time we met was in Broken Island. Yeah, of course. Yes. Yes, uh, and you had the injured feet. <laughs> and I you, still you, can remember. You tried to so cure yourself. <laughs> with acupuncture. With acupuncture. Yeah, yes. of course. Uh, you <laughs> I, also treated I, us in the evening <laughs> yeah. with the back pain, muscle pain. That was it's, a good experience. And too. Uh, we kind of binded with each other. Uh -huh. and continue our friendship even though we were far away yeah but we were always in we touch we never forget each other we never forget each other <laughs> but you, you know uh, i when i live in canada i use john pen because the, we always did like chinese people we, we use the the english name so for the better communication. Mm -hmm. So we call you Tony, but your real name is not Tony, no? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> my real um, name is Mahmoud. Mahmoud. Uh, that's my, uh, basically, my mother gave me that name when I was born in Iran. Uh -huh. uh, and then uh, I traveled a lot. Uh, yeah. One of my job position was in Germany. And when I walked in, to meet the captain, he said, you look Italian, I'm going to call you Tony. <laughs> so <laughs> that name stuck with me since then. <laughs> many years. How and many years? I, About the 40 to be years. On, yeah. And to be <laughs> honest with you, I learned it from Chinese mm -hmm. because I also worked in Singapore. Yeah, yeah. And most Chinese, they like to use some sort of a Christian name yeah. for a business purpose. Yeah, of So course. they can remember that. Yeah. So, when I moved to Canada, I decided to use that name for business. <laughs> yeah. You know, we also, I, my name is Chen Zhun, so I, I arrived to Canada. I said, I better I use the English name because it is for easier communication. Yeah. Maybe sometimes the local people, Caucasian people, they not, cannot uh, remember so easily the Chinese name. You know? Tony is mechanic engineer. So he worked in very place like uh, German, like uh, Singapore, then the immigrant to Canada, we meet each other. So I think always the, the life is uh, sometimes is we have the destiny to uh, maybe arrive somewhere. Uh, even we have the different uh, religion, but uh, we all believe the God because uh, the destiny maybe made we know each other is not only the uh you know uh i i met you with, without reason i always think it is the some reason yeah, <laughs> yeah. and that reason gets much uh, stronger as time passes and you find common ground mm, in yeah. our discussion that we have about politics religion health <laughs> yeah uh, it's really important. You have been a very good friend. Yeah, very we're good. waiting for Patrick. Patrick is uh, the Canadian, but his origin is from Chile. So he, his name is Patrick Acuna. He's coming tomorrow, so we are waiting for Patrick because we yeah, used to be very close friends. To we we go out together, so we we want to uh, give the welcome to my best friend. Uh, Patrick uh, Acuna. Uh, then actually, Patrick is English, uh, but his name in Spanish is Patricio. Patricio. <laughs> so we'll say hi to Patrick and uh, waiting for you, and we'll eat a nice Chinese food in Peru <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> Excellent. So, do you want to say something about the, the your trip in Peru? How do you feel and the culture? What do you, you think like? Well, uh, the trip this time in Peru has been interesting because um, uh, through you, I met uh, a lot of uh, Chinese 
uh, people as well. And the first night that I arrived, uh, we went to a birthday party of one of uh, Johnny's friends. His name, I don't know his name, but you call him Kuku. <laughs> Koko. Koko. Koko yeah, is Koko. means, uh, in Cantonese, means uh, older brother. Uh, older brother. Yeah. Yes. It was very nice. It was Peruvian people, uh, Chinese, Iranian, <laughs> in a Chinese restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> and that was a very fun evening. Mm. And then the following day, we basically. I went to the museum of Larco, uh, uh, saw the... Largo. Larco. Larco. Yeah. Saw the pottery and the, the sort of uh, the way that uh, the guide was explaining how layer of earth are being studied yeah. so they can see which one is from which age. And that was interesting for me. And. Uh, I was here in Peru about 15 years ago when uh -huh. Antamina Mine was being uh, developed and they had a project and I was involved in that uh, project and I get to know a lot of uh, uh, Peruvian friends and I really enjoyed uh, the warmth and the culture that uh, Latino uh -huh. offers. Yeah. 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 And, uh, that's all I can say. I'm looking forward <laughs> good, to it. Good, good, uh, very good. So, uh, you know, I have the a lot of fans, the public. They, they, they always uh, watch my videos, and uh, I, I so glad because we uh, enter the video together, and uh, all my fans can know you, and you are now very famous in the world. <laughs> So Thank it's you. nice to receive you here. Uh, it's nice that to have to always remember uh, the friendship. Um, so it's high. We can say hi to Gary. Gary is a very good friend of us. He's my partner of business. So it's nice to uh, make the video with Tony and we're waiting tomorrow uh, a lawyer Patrick and we can eat together see you again I'm Dr. Penn next time I see you <laughs>